Many times we have asked ourselves, polyester or polyamide? In textile industry, polyamide and polyester are among the most widely used synthetic fibers thanks to their versatility and durability. Let's say that you're looking for a new raincoat at the mall and one is in polyester, the other one is in polyamide. Both are synthetic, so the polymer should be the same. Mm, not really. That's why also the price is different. So what are these differences? Let's better see in detail. First of all, let me tell you three important things. Polyamide and nylon is the same thing, normally 6, normally 6.6. .6. If you don't know anything about nylon, I will leave my video below explaining what polyamide or nylon is. Second, polyester is PET, the same polymer of water, plastic bottle. Actually, also PBT is used and it's still polyester, but in textiles, in 99% of the cases, polyester is PET. Thirdly, nobody, and I really mean nobody, not even Merlin the Wizard, knows the differences between polyamide and polyester by touching the fabric. So don't trust who tells you this. In fact, if we take a look at the polyamide and the polyester fiber under the microscope, they are very similar. Now let's get back to the properties of the polymers. Normally, polyester offers a very, very great dimensional stability. That's why you don't even need to iron it, but it poses more challenges during dyeing, since you require high temperatures to dye it. Polyamide, on the other hand, offers great strength, high elasticity and it's super durable. Polyamide is soft, has a silky feel, that's why it's used for underwear, seamless garments and active wear. It's elastic. Polyester has a stiffer structure more versatile for several uses. Polyamide has a moisture regain of 4%, polyester has almost 0%. Polyamide keeps the skin dry, polyester retains more sweat. That's why I prefer polyamide for sports and polyester for conventional or casual wear. Polyamide has excellent resistance to wear, tension and abrasion, making it perfectly suitable for yarns used in technical and sports garments exposed to frequent mechanical stress. Polyester, while offering good general resistance, performs less well under prolonged friction and is more prone to surface wear and peeling. Polyamide is known for drying quickly and maintaining its elasticity, shape and fit over time. However, to preserve its performance, it may require more care during washings. Polyester, in contrast, is high wrinkle resistant, doesn't need ironing and withstands frequent washings. Nylon is not perfect, it generally costs more than polyester. Also because the production costs are higher, so please consider also that when you purchase a new garment. Last thing to say, we have talked about conventional polyester and conventional polyamide, but please keep in mind that there are several different types of polyester with different shapes and features that are better than conventional nylon in some cases, such as Thermolite or Coolmax and others. That's it for today guys, hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. If you need any textile help, I'm at disposal naturally, make sure to subscribe to the channel and Always remember that as long as we have fabrics, there will always be a story to tell. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the people that send me small donations and send emails every now and then. Much appreciated, guys. That's all for today. I hope to see you guys in the next video.